Breaking news today. Putin is paranoid and on the lookout for enemies, like in Stalin times, so to speak. Only 101 treason cases were filed in Russia between 1997 and 2017, but in just the first seven months of this year, paranoid Putin's authorities have filed an incredible 82 such cases. Vladimir Putin's paranoia has him cracking down on traitors and dissenters to an unprecedented degree, and his rush to investigate individuals has been compared to the Stalin times. Kolod, an independent magazine, reports that there have been 82 cases of treason so far in 2023. That is a quadrupling from the previous year. And while only 101 treason cases were filed between 1997 and 2017, Putin's authorities, led by the FSB security services, filed an astounding 82 such cases in the first seven months of this year. According to the data, Putin's paranoia about enemies both inside and outside of Russia has reached levels not seen since the repressive Stalin era, 1928-1953. According to the Kolod report, now literally everyone can be accused of treason, whereas previously the group at risk included employees of defense enterprises, military personnel, and scientists with access to state secrets. It has been said that, even likes on Instagram and subscriptions on Telegram, messenger service, can lead to a criminal case. Human Rights Project Department 1 lawyer Yevgeny Smirnov warned, do not forget that the very content of the state secret is a state secret. That is, no Russian citizen is in possession of a clear understanding of what constitutes state secrets and what does not. Each government agency maintains its own confidential data repositories that are off limits to the public. He remarked, the FSB has picked up the pace, in 2023, on average, we receive 20 criminal cases per month. By the end of December, there will have been approximately 250, treason, cases, or roughly one for every working day of the year. Vladimir Kara Mirza, a 41-year-old dual citizen of Russia and the United Kingdom who has been imprisoned for 25 years for opposing Putin's war and regime, is one of the most prominent detainees. He was also poisoned twice. Alexei Navalny, a prominent politician in Russia who has been outspoken in his criticism of Putin, was sentenced to 19 years in prison on Friday for extremism charges stemming from the work of his anti-corruption foundation, FBK. He is currently serving a nine-year sentence for multiple offenses, and additional time in prison is possible. According to Thukral, China imported 9.73 million metric tons of soybeans in July, up 23.5% from a year ago, customs data showed on Tuesday. According to the numbers, imports by the world's top soybean buyer rose to 62.3 million tons in the first seven months of the year, up 15% from the year-ago period. However, yesterday, Dow Jones reporter Kirk Malte wrote, U.S. grain export inspections dropped back for the week ended August 3, with annual inspection totals continuing to lag behind the previous year's pace. Corn export inspections totaled 376,623 metric tons, soybean inspections totaled 281,857 tons, and wheat inspections totaled 275,067 tons according to the most recent report on grain export inspections from the United States Department of Agriculture. While the war in Ukraine has spilled dangerously close to vital Black Sea supply routes, the lack of ships in Russia and the declining appetite of Western grain traders for doing business with Moscow are adding to the rising costs of transporting Russian wheat, as reported by Reuters writers Jonathan Saul and Nigel Hunt today.